Hi all. Today we are going to see the fuel consumption measurement kit and its procedure of installation. So before seeing the installation procedure, let us understand the fuel consumption kit and its parts. The fuel consumption kit will come in a bag. It will have a, a 10 number of items. Let us start from the item number 1. This is the fuel measuring jar which is 5 liters transparent jar, 5 liter of capacity. You can see the divisions are given for each liter and each 200 ml. And this jar is coming with two pipes. One is the supply pipe. At one end you can find the banjo. So the fuel supply can be given through this pipe and its banjo joint. One more is the return line. Tractors return need to be given in this line. So this jar both in bottom it is having the two plates which is for carrying this entire jar. At the side of this jar uh, wire mesh is coming. This is for the safety of the jar. Okay, This is a part of this measuring jar. And the next item is the mounting bracket. One end of the mounting bracket need to be fitted on the tractor side. Another end of the mounting bracket need to be fitted on this mounting jar. So this entire, this bracket will carry you a 5 liter of measuring jar. For mounting this bracket you need two bolts. So that will come along with demonstration kit. For tightening this bolt one spanner is given. The next item is steel rule. The measuring scale of one feet. This can be used for measuring the flowing depth. The next item is the tape. So this is 30 meter of total capacity. So that for measuring the field we need this tape. One more steel tape also is given. This is a 5 meters. This also can be used for field measurement. Next item is the tire pressure gauge. Before going into the field we need to measure the tire pressure of our tractors. In addition to that there is one megaphone is given in the field demonstration kit. While we are measuring the field trials, while we are doing the fuel consumptions, during those trials a demonstrator or a company's executive can brief the entire audience on what is going on the field. One more measuring jar is given. This can be used for filling the diesel in the 5 liter measuring can. Here also divisions are given. Every 100 ml there is one division is given. So that filling the diesel will be easily measured. So, so these are the parts of our fuel consumption measuring kit. Now we can start the fuel consumption measuring kit installment procedure. For this we have taken this tractor form track 6065. In this tractor fuel system is kept on the right hand side of the engine, right hand side of the tractor. So we need to mount our entire kit on the right hand side of the tractor. For this we can see in the clutch housing mounting holes are given. So from there we need to remove the dummy plastic bolts. Then we can install this mounting bracket. Once the mounting bracket is installed we can take our measuring jar Measuring jar in the bottom is having a strut. Okay. This strut need to be fitted on the mounting bracket. On the top of the mounting bracket, there is one hole. There we need to mount on this. Strut. In the bottom, we have to fit with the nut. So that mounting jar will be firmly sitting on your mounting bracket. This mounting jar is having two lines. One is the supply tube. 
as discussed earlier at the end it is having the banjo connection another is the return line FIP and the injector return fuel need to be connected with this pipe. Now open the bonnet. Keep the stand of the bonnet. We have two pipes from the measuring jar. One is the supply line, another is the return line. The supply line need to be fitted in fuel system this location before the feed pump so we need to remove this mounting bolt before that we need to close the fuel knob close the fuel knob then we can remove this mounting bolt and we can fit the supply line After removing this mounting banjo bolt, we can remove the another end of the fuel line also. So that you can have the space for fitting your measuring jar mounting line. Once the supply line connection is over, you need to go for return line connections. This is the return line connection where the FIP line and as well as the injector line, both the return lines are joining in this location. This is going to the fuel tank. We have to remove this connection now. Take the help of screwdriver. Remove the hose, hose clips first, then remove this rubber connection after removing this pipe we can install our return line then tight the hose clip by using the screwdriver Once the both the connections are given, we can close the bonnet. Now the pipe connections are over, we can fill the diesel in the main jar. Open the cap. Now we have 5 liter jar. We can fill the 5 liter of diesel in the main jar. Top of the jar is having funnel kind of arrangement. Now 5 liter of diesel is filled in this measuring jar. Then we can close this cap. In the top of the cap we can find one vent hole. So this need to be in open condition. So this will allow the fuel delivery into the fuel system. Now we can lock it. The same fuel can be filled by using this small jar also. This is a 1 litre jar. Based on our need, we can measure the fuel in the small jar and we can fill it in the main jar. Now fuel connections are given. Then start the tractor and ensure there is no leakage in any joints of fuel lines. Now the installment is over. The same procedure is given in your installment guidelines also it is having two pages with the photograph it is having the explanation of each and every steps this will further help you to understand the fitment procedure
now the tractor is ready for fuel consumption test one more sheet is there which is field data capturing sheet so this sheet will help you to capture all the performance parameters like depth fuel consumption area coverage and all other details thanks for listening